Hey guys, what is up? This is Charlie, aka The God of SEO, and I'm going to be doing this small tutorial on how to get into a Windows machine, either Windows 7 or Windows 8, without the username and password. So, this is the account that I'm trying to get into, and I don't have the username and password for it. And as you can see down here, we have the ease of access button down here. Um, and this is going to come in handy in a minute. This is used for people who um, are either blind or can't hear, or have sight problems, so that they can hear what the words are saying, or they can listen to it and they can um, view it in big lectures, that kind of thing, and also they can change the contrast. So I'm going to restart the machine now, and for this one I'm going to launch the, the um, I'm going to press F9 and it will launch my boot menu, so I can choose which one I want to boot from. So I'm going to boot from the USB flash disk, and my USB flash disk here has Ubuntu installed on it, you can just burn Ubuntu to a disk, and as you can see now it's launching Ubuntu from my flash drive. So you can just install Ubuntu by um, sticking it on a USB stick, or by um, working with it that kind of way. So Ubuntu is now loading, as you can see, um, and we don't need to install it. So what I'm going to do is click Try Ubuntu here. And to find the ease of access, button which is normally located downside, we're going to go to um, home folder, we're going to click OS, it can have your um, specific uh, folder on there as well, and we're going to go to Windows, and once we're in Windows we're going to go to System32, click S, or actually type in System32, make sure it comes on System, or Y64, you want System32. Once that's opened, we want to find Utilman. And Utilman is the um, ease of access button, but it's under Utilman, is that the application, utilman.exe. Um, and this may take a bit of time to load just because it's such a massive folder with tons of stuff in it. As you can see there, so I'm going to put in Utilman and we have it here. I'm going to rename this to Utilman123. Enter. I'm then going to search for CMD. I'm going to make a copy and paste of this, paste it in, and I'm going to rename this utilman.exe, so that's now there with that done. So now what we're going to do is close this down and we're going to shut off the machine, and I'm going to restart the machine now. And it's going to boot up to the loan screen. So I'm going to go over to Advin. I'm going to click the ease of access button down here and it will launch CMD. So I'm now going to put in net space user space slash add. I'm going to put in the username, which I'm going to put as Charlie, and the password, which I'm going to put as Miller. The command to complete successful, and then I put in net user, and it'll display all the users on this machine and on there, Charlie. So I'm going to put um, net space local group, which is all one word, space slash, uh, sorry, and then I'm going to put space administrators, administrators, then slash ads, and then the username, which for my one is Charlie. And I've put that in wrong, so I'm going to put in net local group administrators space slash add, and then my username which I've created, which is Charlie. The command completes successfully. I'm then going to restart the machine once again. Once both of those have completed successfully, um, there'll be a description of the actual two that you need to use below. And the machine's rebooting. And 
So now we have the user Charlie, and I'm going to put the password Miller. And it's going to confirm my desktop, and that's an administrator account, so I can go in, uh, manage other people's user accounts, and change the passwords if I want to. Um, there's loads of stuff, and I can change passwords and get onto other users. Thanks for watching this, guys, and peace.